you look at where the electrons are, they're mostly around the oxygen, not so much around the carbon. So the carbon would have a partial positive charge, the oxygen uh, partial negative charge. If you have a hydrocarbon, like a CH2, like you find in a lipid molecule, a fatty acid chain, carbon's more electronegative than the hydrogen. So it's stealing some density from the hydrogen. It contains the hydrogen. It's donating electrons to carbon. It's going to be partially negative to the charge. This is electron deficient. Uh, if this was a fat or sugar, as you oxidize it to CO2, what happens is the carbon gets bonded with oxygen. The oxygen steals the electron density from the carbon. So the carbon may have started out as a fuel molecule with uh, high electron density around it, partially negative charge. It loses those electrons to the oxygen. So instead of the starting situation where carbon is stealing electrons from hydrogen, it ends up in a low energy state where it the carbon is lost electrons to the oxygen. It's maybe a simple phenomenon, but that's the driving force behind uh, our energy needs. We started out with highly reduced, in a chemical sense, reduced foodstuffs like lipids and carbohydrates that are electron dense in terms of the carbon. The carbon gets oxidized. The electrons go where? The electrons in and metabolism go to molecular oxygen. And um, so not only do the carbon atoms end up with oxygens associated with them, but as these bonds are broken, this hydrogen with its electron gets donated to molecular oxygen to make water. I think fire drives home the point. It's a competition between oxygen, molecular oxygen, and reduced forms of carbon for electrons. <laughs>